the powers of the DC Comics character Superman have changed a great deal since his introduction in the 1930s. As the character developed, his abilities were enhanced in order to maintain the interest of his audience. The extent of his powers peaked during the 1970s and 80s, to the point where it became difficult to create suitable challenges for the character. As a result, his powers were significantly reduced when his story was rebooted by writer John Byrne after the Crisis on Infinite Earths series. After Byrne's departure, Superman's powers were gradually increased again, although he still remains weaker than his pre-crisis incarnation. I am Sarah and today we will be looking at Superman's power through different eras of comic book history. Golden Age Superman as presented in the original 1930s comic strip, Superman's powers were indigenous to those of all Kryptonians. In the origin stories of the comic books and comic strip, Kryptonians were shown using the same powers that Superman would have on Earth. Later, Krypton's larger size and gravity was given as an explanation for the character's powers. When introduced in the late 1930s, Superman had the following powers and limitations. Super Strength The character was depicted as having the ability to move large vehicles, including cars, trains, and ships. Super Speed Superman could run faster than an express train. Could leap over an eighth of a mile or over a tall building. Silver Bronze Age Pre-Crisis Superman. Superman's powers were enhanced and added to from the 1940s until the mid-80s. His powers were explained as a result of two factors, the comparatively weaker gravity of Earth, and the intensity of Earth's yellow sun. As such, Superman's powers were negated if he entered an environment similar to that of Krypton, such as the bottle city of Kandor, or if he was exposed to the solar energy of a red sun. In Silver Age stories, the powers and limitations of Superman were instantly possessed by any Kryptonians exposed to Earth or Earth-like conditions. Individuals from the planet Daxam, such as Manel, possessed identical powers, but were invulnerable to kryptonite and highly susceptible to lead poisoning. Super Strength Superman's strength was increased to the point where he could move entire planets. Flight The character gained the power of true flight. Super Speed Superman's speed increased to the point where he could travel faster than light. Several stories depict him traversing greater distances through space to other solar systems and distant galaxies and even other universes. He could cross our own solar system in minutes. He could also use this power to travel through time, as shown in his boyhood visits to the 30th century as a member of the Legion of Superheroes. Superman can also swim at speeds approaching Aquaman's speed as well as run at speed similar to that of the Flash. Superman is unable to beat Flash in a race. Invulnerability By the 1970s, Superman became able to withstand an atomic explosion and even fly through the core of a star. He was also immune to non-Kryptonian diseases and all radiation except for that of a red sun or kryptonite. Vision. In addition to X-ray vision and heat vision, Superman was also given telescopic and microscopic vision. The character could see across interstellar distances and observe events that occurred on a microscopic and even atomic level. He could also see across the full electromagnetic spectrum, including infrared and ultraviolet light. Hearing, Superman could hear sound at almost any wavelength and at great distances. Super Breath Superman's breath was capable of freezing objects and generating hurricane force winds. He could also hold his breath indefinitely, allowing him to travel underwater or in space without breathing apparatus. Mental Powers Superman possessed genius level intelligence and an eidetic memory. These enhanced mental capabilities were a direct result of his exposure to a yellow sun, as evidenced by the depiction of Superman's dog, 
crypto. While under a yellow sun, crypto's intelligence was boosted to that of a typical human. Superman also possessed the mental ability to screen out the enormous amount of information received by his enhanced senses, and to focus on a single detail, such as a particular voice or location. As well, his speed reading abilities were much like that of the Flash. He was able to absorb large amounts of information quickly, whether it entered his short-term or long-term memory is hazy. Under a yellow sun, a Kryptonian gains the ability to speak and understand all languages. Super Ventriloquism Superman could throw his voice across great distances. This power was used to confuse enemies or protect his secret identity by tricking others into believing that he, or Clark Kent, was in a different location. Super Hypnotism This power enabled Superman to hypnotize anyone. He could make people forget incidents or obey his commands. This power was often used to safeguard his identity. Stamina Superman could survive indefinitely without food, water, or rest due to the yellow sun's radiation sustaining him. Healing Factor Superman could regenerate physical damage to his body at an accelerated rate. He was able to regenerate when Wonder Woman slit his throat with her tiara in Wonder Woman No. 219. In the series Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, Superman regenerates his body after being reduced to near a skeleton by a special nuke that was designed to blot out sunlight and disrupt energy. Superman's healing rate has been inconsistently portrayed, however. In the first issue of the Superman, Batman comic, Alfred is able to remove a kryptonite bullet from Superman's body without fear of the wound closing, probably because the kryptonite was affecting his ability to heal. Other powers, writers of Superman would occasionally experiment with new powers for the character. In general, the abilities that proved popular and useful became part of his regular repertoire, while others would be discarded after a single use. In addition to his other super senses, Superman was occasionally shown as having highly enhanced senses of touch and smell. Post-Crisis When the Superman character was revised by John Byrne shortly after Crisis on Infinite Earths, it was decided to place restrictions on his abilities. This was designed to make it easier for writers to come up with suitable challenges for the hero, and to eliminate or reduce those powers that had become too sensational or unbelievable for modern audiences. Emphasis was placed on Yellow Sun Energy as a source for the character's powers. Superman's origin story was altered so that his powers developed gradually as his body absorbed yellow sunlight, and stories such as the Final Night series depicted the character gradually losing his powers when deprived of the sun's energy. When Superman's reserves of solar energy were depleted, as in Infinite Crisis or the death of Superman story arcs, he required an extended period of time under a yellow sun or some type of artificial solar enhancement in order to recharge. Power Reduction Superman's strength was reduced to the point where he could still move tremendous amounts, but the character no longer had the ability to move planets. His speed was also reduced so that he could not exceed the speed of light. While still capable of surviving a nuclear explosion, such events would severely weaken him. Superman's sight, stamina and breath powers were also similarly reduced, and the character was also shown as requiring an oxygen mask for prolonged travel in space or underwater. His mental abilities were also curtailed to the point where intelligent humans, like geniuses Lex Luthor or Batman, could possibly outsmart him. The powers of super ventriloquism and super hypnosis were not generally used during this period, although it was never stated whether they had been eliminated or not. Tactile telekinesis An attempt was made to explain Superman's ability to fly with large objects through the introduction of tactile telekinesis. 
Objects that Superman touched were enveloped by an invisible telekinetic field that allowed him to move them with the force of his will. The ability also explained Superman's ability to fly. This power was the only ability originally duplicated in the Superboy clone, allowing him to emulate Superman's strength, speed, and flight capabilities, but none of his sensory powers. Over time, Superboy, or Canal as he came to be known, would eventually develop the same set of powers as the original. Modern Era after Burns' departure from the series, Superman's powers and abilities were once again increased over time. He regained the ability to travel interstellar distances and to hold his breath for the amount of time required to make such journeys. His strength, speed, and sensory abilities were again increased, although not to pre-crisis levels. The comparative weakness of the Superman character to his pre-crisis incarnation was definitively shown during Infinite Crisis. The Superboy Prime character, endowed with nearly the same power levels as the Silver Age Superman, was capable of defeating large numbers of DC Universe heroes, including the Teen Titans and many members of the Green Lantern Corps. The modern era Superman and his Earth-2 counterpart were only able to defeat Superboy Prime after plunging him through Krypton's Red Sun, thereby reducing his powers, his powers, 